No. I, I, don't um, I, I, I don't want to be too directive here. Yeah. Um, you talk next. Me. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, Justify yourself. Sure, sure. Why am I up here? Right. Because I was talking about uh, uh, the particular comic process. I've wor- I've, I have worked with James as well. His scripts are very lengthy, but that's fine because I, I get I get to think less, which is always which is always good. I just get to draw, which is which is awesome. Anyone here want, uh, like to like to draw comics or yeah? Any of your artists? Good, 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 good. So, uh, any of you interested in the process, or you know the process already? Okay, okay, they're actually interested in the process. Okay, <laughs> like everybody works uh, differently, and uh, it also depends on when the deadline is, because the way you work, if it's due in uh, two weeks, to compare it whether it's worth done in uh, two months, completely different. For example, if uh, if you had maybe two months, maybe you will actually go and make little thumbnails, layouts. Every page, right? Then I'll send, maybe send it to James or the editor. They'll make their notes. We'll go back, make, make a little bit more layouts, right? And send it back. If you only have two weeks, forget you guys. I'm doing it myself, right? <laughs> and then I'll go there. I'll draw. If you don't like it, I'll. <laughs> you know, we only got two weeks. You're, you're, you're stuck. That's the one thing about uh, comics is that it's, it's one of those deals. Like if you work in any other freelance, sometimes they'll pick apart art to death, right? Whether it be like a, a box cover or, or whatever, magazine cover. They'll make you keep changing all these things. You don't really have that time in comics because we're on a schedule, right? We like to be monthly. Uh, I've been in companies when really down under because they couldn't do a monthly. Uh, so we do what we can with the time that we have. I'd say, you know, being artists, we could only do, I see each page. We only do pretty much, what, 70% of what we really want to do with that page, but there's just no time to do that. So we, like, hats off to this guy here, Alex. <laughs> Never gets tired. You look at his page 22, <laughs> just as good as page one, right? Right, right. right. No, no, that's very true. You look at my page one, I'll draw like 50 robots. You look at the <laughs> end, there's 50 robots, but you'll notice they're the exact same robot, but duplicated 50 <laughs> times, you know? That, that, that's, how, that's how it is, right? But, uh, but in the actual process, yeah, that, we'll, we'll maybe do a layout, thumbnail if there's time. If not, we'll go and actually sketch that out, depending, uh, you ink your own stuff, right? Yeah. You do your, yeah. Uh, what, what's your process when you, when you ink your own stuff? Do you actually pencil well, first? Well, um, it would depend on uh, like how uh, lazy I am. Yes, uh, yes, uh, I'm with you. If, if I want to be like really lazy with inking, I will do really tight pencils and then it's just mindless, just going over with a pen and just recreating the lines. I'll go over it once with one line weight and then I'll drop the blacks in, and then I will go back over with a bolder line weight and start pumping out the values and perspective. Mm-hmm. Me too. Okay. There you go. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> and, uh, and that's pretty much it. Well, we, we send that out, and if uh, James or uh, John has any issues, then we'll, we'll make those adjustments uh, as we go along. Right? But uh, that's, that's uh, pretty much it, I think. Right? Josh, take us, take us now into the, into the world of the colorist. Well, Photoshop crashes and I cry. <laughs> um, no, um, it's uh, for, uh, since I've gotten to work with Alex uh, since Dreamwave, uh, me and Alex have usually, um, when I'm working on a cover, I'm talking with him on Skype. And my edits are usually, like I usually, Alex just lets me do whatever. But um, the more than meets the eye coverage to me are probably the more easier, uh, easier workload I get because I'm talking with Alex right there and uh, any, if there's anything I need to fix, if I'm flattening something wrong, he'll let me know right away. But usually the process is um, you get the inks. I separate the, uh, the inks from uh, the background so that way you just have the lines on the layer, not, you know, some people take the line art and they set it to uh, multiply. But if you do that, it's very annoying to do color holds. So I just separate the line art and then I put the flats underneath it. Um, every colorist has a different method of work. Uh, mines is uh, usually I have a background layer, which is all the static objects. Because uh, I, I think in, um, especially now that I've started cell shading, uh, the Transformers comic again, I think of it in terms of a cartoon. If an if item is going to be a movement, it's going to be cell shaded. If it's going to be stationary, it's painted. Um, but there's usually a background layer, a foreground layer, which is mostly characters and effects layer. Um, it just becomes easier to have your effects on a separate layer for me. Um, and then uh, all the effects over it. And then there's usually like the, a sky layer, so that way I can just be lazy with the background and not have to select things. Um, and finish, convert to CMYK, send it, edit, fix it, and then voucher and get a paycheck. 
<laughs> keep, keep talking, I'm sketching. <laughs> <laughs> so clearly, you're, you're, getting, you're getting the impression that so much of the creative process is mm. driven by a need to continue to be alive and to... Very much, to yeah. Eat. <laughs> yeah. 